Video games have been a popular source of entertainment for years now, but what if I said that you could make a career out of it? I've made a whopping $30, I'd say, for my, my humble victories. So while John Suman doesn't exactly have a career in esports like some of his best friends, he has been to competitive tournaments around the country. It's, it's very strange to kind of walk into a room full of a bunch of nerds and it have like the same kind of atmosphere as a major sporting event. If you're imagining gamers cheering on their favorite players like their hometown football team, you're kind of on the right track. Like I would say that there's almost more of a focus on drinking than there is on melee at tournaments. Like, because the problem is if we're playing, it, we, we're drinking. And we play all the time, which means we're drinking all the time. And it, it ends. It ends well, but it's messy. So gaming meets a frat party. But John says it's all in good fun. Well, for the gamers at least. Melee events are never held at the same hotel twice because they learn from their first mistake. Hotels may not be big fans, but with the rise of esports or competitive gaming, gamers such as Joseph Marquez, better known as Mango, have a large and growing fan base. And I met him at the big house, that tournament that I attended. And from there, you know, we just became really good friends. Mango, considered the best Melee player, makes money from streaming videos, sponsorships, and fan donations. John, however, sees a different future for himself. I want to carve myself out a niche where I can uh, start to provide content to help grow, grow the scene as well. But at the moment, he's very happy where his favorite game has taken him. It's probably one of the most rewarding and coolest things that I've ever done with my time. And it's something that in, in no way when I first started playing did I ever think that this is where this was going to go. The opportunity to meet the people that I've met and to develop the relationships that I have is something that I certainly don't take for granted, and I owe that to Melee. John may not be making money with the game, but he's already made something more valuable, lifelong friendships. For Siena College News, Marcus Navarro in Loudonville, New York.